My name is Richard Warnick, International Director for Sierra Leone International Mission School, better known as SLIMS. The vision of the school is, is to really end the cycle of poverty in Sierra Leone. SLIMS is very much in the heart of a, a community that's called Old Wharf that really is a very poor community. So we not only have a mission here that's educating, that's doing good community work with the clinic, but it's become a community hub and we want to actually expand that. We want to uh, potentially have a vocational school here that will end up uh, serving the community where adults can come back and learn a skill. SLIM says over the years become uh, like a big family. The school is now at 4,000 kids. It started out originally with about 100 and we've been supported by individuals and churches now for the last 23 years. Uh, we go from pre-primary uh, through sixth grade and then a junior secondary and a senior secondary school here on the main campus. We have a clinic that's highly thought of by the government and the community that delivers five, six hundred babies a year. The clinic is very important to the community and to SLIMS. We give free medical attention to all the students here. The clinic is a, a place where people feel safe especially during Ebola when the Ebola crisis came to this country it's very unfortunate, a lot of ignorance uh, in the beginning. So a lot of clinics didn't know what to do, were not prepared. Many clinics had to close because they were not safe places, but the SLIMS clinic did stay open that entire time. The emphasis is on young mothers or mothers with children five years and younger. We give free health care to any mother expecting a mother in birth or a uh, child five years and under. And so we're very proud of our record in that respect. Today, in fact, they're out uh, doing polio vaccination for young children. So this is the polio vaccine and children get four doses of this. And so we're going around the community doing the fourth dose. One of these vials should be able to vaccinate 20 babies. We now have three other locations with another thousand children in schools. For our 25 year celebration, it was open for all who wanted to come and enjoy the, the festivities, which has been a week long celebration, believe me, it's been a, a, quite an event and quite a, an event for the community. The people know the love that we have, have for them in this, in this place, and they, they sense that, and I think that's why we're successful. One of the very important emphasis that we have now at SLAMS is a computer lab, which we have a vision of becoming a, a, a technical college. During the war, when they brought high-speed internet to most of West Africa, it did not come to Sierra Leone because of the Civil War. So from that standpoint, this, the country has a lot of catch-up to do in terms of the uh, computers and training. and. We believe that it, it's a good time to educate all of our kids 100% in computer training. The, the official language of Sierra Leone is English. However, children from childbirth to an early age until they go to school really only hear a language called Creole, K-R-I-O. We've evaluated that and decided that we need to really have an emphasis on English language training in our school. We have a, a, a group, Education Cures, that is heading that up and Education Cures is a uh, phenomenal organization that's come to our campus and now they're working with our pre-primary and primary children. We want to have a program that will actually meet the needs of that young age and that's what Education Cures is doing for us right now. The most recent partnership we have with a, with a U.S. nonprofit is All for One. It's now building an orphanage. We have the first floor blocks up and uh, we expect to have the first two floors completed by April of, of this uh, 2018. Uh, we have an incredible national director by the name of Pastor Tamba Lebby. Uh, corruption is well known in Africa, but this person is very honest. He's teaching honesty among the leadership that he's developing. SLAMS would not be where it is without the supporters we've had for the last 25 years. I want to give a big thank you out to everybody in the United States. We believe that the continued support will just bear more and more fruit. I just want you to know that there's been an incredible amount of fruit uh, that's been born uh, because of your sacrifice. Thank you.